Hey, you struggling to connect the new Google Analytics 4 to your website? This video will show you how to do it in less than three minutes. Easy as pie. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go into Google Analytics. Now, go to the website you want to put Google Analytics 4 code on and go over to admin. Then, you'll see upgrade to Google Analytics 4. You click on that. Don't worry about if you have Google Tag Manager, you can use that. But in this case, we'll do, I need to create a new Google Analytics 4 property. Boom. Don't worry about that. Just write create property. Obviously, wait for it to load and that. So the easiest thing you want to do is tag installation. So click on tag installation. Click on this. And here you want to go on global site tag G tag. Boom. Click on this. And what you want to do is you could put this in the head in the HTML code of your website. But whenever I tried to do it, I couldn't get it working. So the easiest thing to do. Hey, my name is Dylan, aka The London Nomad. And my number one objective is getting to Chiang Mai, Thailand to live my life completely passive income. In this channel, I'm going to share everything to do with passive income, how I get passive income and to help you be financially free. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, please like and subscribe. Okay, so you want to go to plugins. So you want to go and add new. And type HFCM. HFCM. And this one, headers foot. Headers, footer, code manager, you want to go and install it. After it's installed, you click activate. And then you go over to where it downloaded. So for example, here, you go to settings. And make sure you still have this code, copy and pasted. You get me? Make sure you have that. So not here. So here, you want to go add new snippet. You going to click on it if you want to remember it, GA4. Make sure it's site-wide, so this is going to affect all your site, which is what you want to do when you want to track a Google tracking code. Make sure it's on header, and make sure it's on show on all devices. Simply copy and paste, boom, save. And that should be it, it's all done. And make sure, I don't know where your caching is, whether it's an application or whatever, you want to cache and refresh your website so it refreshes and loads all the new code per jewel boom should be done and as you can see i can show you it's work oh sorry here i can go to home from here and as you can see the new google analytics code is successfully stored in google, google analytics it's going to take a while before you're actually going to see tracking but let me check if i google if i go on straight the website that i just put on but your original code is still going to be there so you can still see your Google, the previous Google tracking. I can go to Google tracking here. This is the code, the number three, the old one. And all your, all your old data will still be there. So make sure you don't delete that just because it depends how much visits your site has. This data can still be useful. Obviously, this is a baby site, so it doesn't have more or less. It doesn't have any sessions, but it's still useful to have. So thank you so much. Again, my, my name is Dylan, the London Nomad, and my number one objective is getting to Chiang Mai, Thailand, living a passive income lifestyle. So please like and subscribe if you like this sort of content. My number one priority in life is making people like you free from the nine to five. So appreciate it. God bless.